This program is brought to you by the following Patreon contributors. Become a contributor at patreon.com forward slash databits and by viewers like you. Thank you. Hey everybody and welcome back to the Databits channel with the greatest retro tech you have ever seen in your life. And now we've got two great products to show you today, retro tech from 1990 as well as the 1970s. Our 1990 product is this Auto Talk that I'm about to introduce to you. And then we're going to talk about a LaBelle endless loop cartridge tape player. But first, Auto Talk. Auto Talk came in this box. AutoTalk gives you the technology of the future in your car today, the future of 1990. This keypad would stick to your dash and it's still got the adhesive on it. This cable runs underneath the dash to this tuner box. So this AutoTalk tuner box is then connected to your car radio via its antenna input. So your car antenna would connect here. I've actually got it connected to some rabbit ears currently to see if I can pick up something in the air because here in the United States we don't use analog television broadcasts anymore. We do everything digital so most of the airwaves are dead in that regard. We also have weather so we have a weather button here, we have a traffic button here, and we have our TV SAP button here. So SAP was a secondary audio program. It was part of MTS or stereo television and you could simply tune in via the SAP on your VCR or TV to a foreign language channel. So it was just like, uh, you know, an alternate channel, like on DVDs have alternate languages. TV had alternate languages too, if they happened to use them in your area. Now, strangely enough, this device was only available to people in California, specifically the San Francisco Bay Area. So what it talks about here on some of this uh, paperwork that comes with it is you would tune your, first off, your AM radio to channel 530, which I've got it here, 530. And then you would listen to all your region traffic information in the Los Angeles area using KHSC channel 46, uh, or you could use uh, channel 16 and uh, there will be periods of silence until your selected regions are broadcast. So you got KHSC and then on the back here was this map showing you your coverage area, okay? And then uh, there's actually an alternative one here. This one is uh, either KTVU channel two or KICU 36 in North Bay or South Bay, so the San Francisco Bay area. And again, here is your coverage map showing you where you could pick up your channels and uh, indicated here, one, two, three, four, five, six, okay? So the basic operation of the system is you type in the number on this keypad and then you press what you wanna hear. So let's say I wanted to hear I don't know, channel uh, 46, I would type four, six, and then I would hit TV, or I would hit four, six, and then traffic. Weather radio is just like one through four, I think, and you would just hit one, and then weather, or two, weather, three. So I'm not picking up anything on those bands here in uh, my area of uh, the Midwest United States. And again, I don't know how I ended up with this thing in the Midwest because again, this was only for California use. Let's just try and type in some numbers here and see if anything happens. I mean, you know, it's, it's worth a try. Maybe we'll pick up some like alien uh, transmissions from outer space or something. So uh, let's see, let me think of a number here. How about like 27? Let's see if that picks up anything. heavy traffic on Highway 101, we're an intersect with Highway 280, as well as Interstate 80. Interstate 80 is completely backed up. Uh, we've got uh, a little bit of trouble there on Highway 380, where it intersects with 101. Highway 92 at Highway 35, Highway 84 at 101, 
and uh, Highway 1 as it intersects with Highway 84. So basically all the highways are completely shut down. There is nobody moving, and that's pretty much the way it's going to be forever for as long as you live here in this area. I'm John Smith with your traffic report on KWXYZ WQZ Radio. Wow, that's really ironic that we were able to pick up something on this radio uh, with channel 27. Isn't that interesting? So that would probably have been what your experience was like listening to a traffic report from a VHF or UHF television station broadcasted through the AM dial on your car radio. By the way, if you're wondering how I was able to actually broadcast something, not just played on a, you know, a tape recorder nearby. Well, it sort of was played on a tape recorder nearby. I have this uh, UHF video sender right here. I recorded my voice on this dictaphone, little uh, playback unit, micro cassette, and played it through channel 27 on my video sender. So just in case you were wondering how that broadcast was able to occur. So let's go on to our next product. Some of you guys who are a long time follower of the Data Bitch channel may recall seeing a video I made about the LaBelle Compact 16 millimeter cartridge as well as eight track tape playing cartridge. Uh, it was a combo unit and it has both. It has 16 millimeter film in the top and then an eight track tape strapped to the bottom of it. And what it would do is just play back something either in a sales setting or a classroom setting. Um, an audio presentation and it automatically advanced still images that were stored on 16 millimeter film. Well, apparently that technology, or at least the tape end of this technology, transfers into this new system that I just found recently on eBay. This is called a LaBelle repeater. And apparently from what I've read online, the LaBelle repeater was used either in a classroom setting to play back audio for a slide or a film strip presentation, or it was used to answer the phone, say at a company like uh, KFC, for example, and you'd call the store and you would get store hours and directions, or maybe it just played something through the speakers in the store, who knows, maybe it played music. Uh, in any case, it would be equipped to do that. Uh, it's got a built-in speaker right here. It's got an on-off switch, a start button, volume control, a slot here on the top, this, this metal piece here is removable, and that is where your tape cartridge goes. And some of you may be able to shine some light or shed some light on this particular thing, uh, what it was actually used for. Maybe you've seen it used somewhere before. Again, it's very industrial. It looks almost like uh, the, the new Mac Pro uh, computers that are coming out with these holes and uh, lots of airflow going on there. Uh, lots of metal. Uh, it's got a carrying handle on the side so you can just tote it around with you everywhere you go. Um, and speaking of KFC, look, it says KFC on the back. So apparently this was used at KFC restaurants for some particular purpose. You have a plug here for your power, a plug here for an external speaker. You've got a repeat mode as well as a stop mode switch here and uh, a place for a remote. So a start remote would plug in there so you could physically start it from a remote location. Uh, it's got a very, very high powered motor inside of it, much bigger than most motors in 8-track decks. So apparently it was ready to <laughs> handle tough situations and last a very long time because it still works to this day. No capacitors were required to make this system work. I'm going to go ahead and plug in the power cord there and we'll turn it on. And as soon as you turn it on and press the start button, that is when your motor begins. Now, apparently there was a tone on the tape perhaps, or maybe a aluminum foil on the tape that caused it to stop. And so it would play a particular audio session and then stop. Or you could put it on auto repeat and it would ignore that signal and keep playing. So what I've done in this case is uh, I've recorded an eight track tape. I used channel three on my eight track recorder just to kind of give you an idea of what a slide presentation might sound like. He would be home. For Abraham Lincoln, the only home he ever owned, served as a focal point for much of his adult life in the Middle West. From his beginnings in a log cabin on a frontier farm near Hudgenville, Kentucky, through the youthful years in Southern Indiana. So that's on a repeat the there. The land so here hasn't really changed much. 
All right, so let's take that one out. And that's uh, from a cassette that I have for a slide presentation. This particular cartridge contains tape from one of these compacts that I had. And let's plug that in and hear what that sounds like because that's an actual recording made for the compact system. Insisting on discipline then gradually gives the members more and more responsibility as they mature and grow. Shared leadership is when there is no one leader. All are leaders. Each is responsible for the group. There are two sets of leadership functions. Task functions consist of beginning the meeting, closing it, making the necessary transition. So there's how you turn it off, turn it back on. The audio comes on, in other words, the amplifier immediately activates, and then you have to press start. Between. Seeking to get the motor going. Supplying information. Clarifying, elaborating, or summarizing discussion. Calling the group back to its purpose. So, again, uh, really interesting system. Uh, very, very cool. You can see the, uh, the transformer there and the speaker and the big powerful motor right there and uh, some wires and uh, audio amplifier board inside of there. But uh, again, if you guys know what this was used for or have a story about how the system was used in your place of work or school, please leave a comment down below so that we can uh, discuss that. But uh, again, that is all that I have for you today on this particular video, keeping it short and sweet. If you are not a subscriber, please become one. You can share this video with a friend or uh, follow me on both Twitter or Facebook, or you can be a, a, a Patreon contributor as well. So thank you for watching today, guys, and we will see you next time for the best cool audio and video tech I can find.